Hi guys, Gabrielle here, product expert at Air Compressors Direct, coming at you with another Q&A video. Today we're going to be talking about duty cycle, and question being, what is duty cycle and why does it matter? Um, at this time, if you'd like, please feel free to actually pause the video, take a look at this first PowerPoint page. It's got a really nice chart that kind of dives into uh, duty cycle itself. But I'm going to go ahead and dive into talking about duty cycle. Um, most of the time, duty cycle is most important when it comes to reciprocating air compressors because reciprocating air compressors run in an on-off operation. Therefore, meaning the duty cycle is going to be the ratio of the compressor during the time that it's on compared to how long you need to leave it off for it to cool down. Um, recommended compressor operation time, it's uh, again expressed in a percentage over a 10 minute period reciprocating air compressor that is a 50% duty cycle. That means it should only run for about five minutes out of um, any given 10 minute period. Um, going into 100% duty cycle, some manufacturers do list their units as 100% duty cycle and customers get that confused with continuous run. They are different. So 100% duty cycle does not mean it can run all day. Um, you still need to allow your compressor time to cool down to basically prevent um, premature failure of any components on it. Um, but with 100% duty cycle, it does mean that it will pr provide a specific pressure inflow 100% of the time while it is in use. Um, with continuous run, uh, continuous run means that you can constantly run the unit and that it will only idle down when the compressor is not being used. So it's normally set up in industrial applications, commercial applica applications, um, anything more so a rotary screw unit is the biggest thing. Rotary screws are meant to have continuous run behind them. Um, that goes for rotary screws, whether it's a fixed speed or a variable speed, which I've actually talked about in previous videos. So please feel free to look at those if you want to know more information on variable speed units. Um, and then I'm also going to just kind of reiterate and go into a little bit of duty cycle facts for you. So again, 100% duty cycle does not mean it can run all day. That's not what it's going into, but um, more so because, again, running a compressor over its intended duty cycle can shorten the life of the compressor itself or other components on it. Usually you're looking at the motor and the pump running out on you. Um, like decibel ratings, and again, I've talked about decibel ratings in previous videos as well. Um, many manufacturers don't actually list the duty cycle on them. Um, so when choosing an air compressor, you want to make sure that the compressor you purchase has the CFM requirements needed to prevent your unit from overcycling. <clears throat> but if you need more help and have questions on duty cycle, for instance, uh, give us a call. Um, we're happy to help you. If you can't find a specific duty cycle on a compressor you're interested in, we can definitely find that information for you. Visit our website, check out our products, submit a Q&A to us. Otherwise, you can also check out our how-to library. We do have our Air Compressors 101 that kind of dives into a duty cycle as well. Other than that, you know, we appreciate you always watching our videos and thanks for stopping by.